Now it's time to simulate the curtains that are covering part of our window in this scene. So let's go ahead and jump right into. Okay, so I'm going to switch to any view that I'm not using. And I'm going to go to the left view. And let's create the plane that will make the curtain. So create panel, geometry, I'll create a plane. Now one thing to notice here is that every curtain is much wider than the actual window. It needs to be draped even when it's closed. So keep that in mind. Don't make a plane that's just the exact size of the curtain. It won't look good. Okay, so try to remember that. I'm going to turn off Auto Grid and I'm just going to draw out a big plane, very big plane. Okay, this plane has to have a lot of subdivisions. So let's bump this up something like 50, maybe more 60. Okay, something like 70 on the other axis. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to rename this curtain 01. Now this curtain, we need to drape this. So I intend to drape this and I intend this curtain to collide with the floor. I'm not using the actual floor for this scene because it's in this whole box and it's uh, too big of a geometry for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the window geometry just for reference and the plane and I'm going to enter isolate mode. Like I said, the window geometry is just for reference, it's just so we can see the size of the window and be aware of that when we're simulating. On the top view, I'm going to create a plane so that the curtain can collide with the floor. And it's just a simple plane and it doesn't need all of these geometry. So let's try something like five by five. I think it's enough. Maybe a little more, 10 by 10 just to make sure that it doesn't overlap. And then I'll move the curtain here. And on the front view or the left view, let's create another box. This box is going to serve as the object that we're going to use to drape the curtain. So it needs to overlap with the curtain. It needs to be with the curtain inside of it, okay? And just to make the simulation easier, I'm going to add a few subdivisions, but I'm just going to add them on the width because the length is not important. So I'm going to put 15 just to make a little easier. And I'm gonna call this Collide 01. So pretty quick to set this up. I'm going to select the plane, convert this to editable poly, and I'm going to add a cloth modifier. Once that's done, I'll enter object properties and I'll add the Collider one and the plane. So the plane is the floor, so it's clearly a collision object. And the Collider one is also a collision object and the curtain is a cloth and we're going to select let's see something like a cotton preset cotton I think is good for this you can choose whatever you like silk tends to have problems okay if you choose silk it's kind of problematic you can try but it would take a couple of tries for it to work I'm going to go with cotton and click OK. And in here, in the left view, there are a few things we need to do. First, we're going to expand the cloth, enter the group section, and we're going to select every vertex that is within the box. Once that's done, I'm going to make a group, rename whatever. And then here, we can see that this group is unassigned. So we need to assign this. We're going to assign the surface mode and when we're in the surface mode, we need to tell surface to who. And the who is the box that we created. So I'm going to click the box and you can see here that now it's surface to collider one. 
I'm going to go back to the overall cloth and then it's just a matter of simulate local let it settle a bit and then we grab the box and we start to shrink it down so very slowly be patient because this is a very slow process just be patient very slowly let it settle for a bit before you continue and I'm just shrinking the box and it's draping the curtain I'm gonna do a little more I think something like that is probably pretty good and once that's done I can move the box down just a little bit so it drapes on the bottom just a little bit like so let it settle and then when you're ready you can stop the simulation remember this is not stored in your geometry yet so you need to convert this so right click on the plane and convert this to editable poly to make sure that this is saved on the geometry now there are some tweaking to do so I'll delete the plane and I'll delete the box I'll leave isolate mode so we can see it in its place actually I'm going to mirror this to the other side because I think it looks better this draping here and in here is just a matter of editing this so polygon mode I'm going to select one of these faces hold shift and click the next one so I can delete the whole line and separate this geometry so I can grab the element mode and grab this and delete it and I'll do the same to the sides it's always nice to delete a little bit of the sides because the sides are never perfect on this one so actually I'm just going to delete this right here and on the underside I'll do the same around here I think delete and then delete the element and a few last tweakings to do first we need to turbo smooth it so shaded mode let's put it into place because it's overlapping the walls a little bit let's turbo smooth it and also let's add a FFD 4x4x4 four by four by four so that we can edit this a little more so back to left view wireframe let's just expand the FFD get to its control points and just move this up and then you can just you know tweak this something like this just so it's straighter and there you go we have our curtain simulated and in place and we're ready to continue with the modeling in our next lesson